Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another review today. And today I have a machine from Mustang Tattoo. And it is not a pen style machine. This is more of a slider style machine. This machine is called the Element 2 machine. So it comes in this kind of packaging, which I really like. The company has completely changed their packaging style. Um, you guys probably don't really know about these machines. The people that have been watching my channel do, because I have reviewed a few of their machines already. I reviewed the Vader pen and their Zune pen, which is two pens, both completely different from each other. Now this machine, like this comes with oil based stuff it's a uh, lubricant for it all the instructions inside of it you get a warranty card so yeah Let me put this back in and we can we can talk about the machine so the machine looks like this it's not so heavy, it's pretty, it's pretty light, it's nice. And this is one that I've been using. One thing that I like about this machine is that you don't need to use rubber bands with it. It does work with cartridges and it does work with standard needles on the bar. And I will show you guys that right now. It has a Chuck Vice style grip. Uh, not grip, chuck vice style. Well, this is not really a chuck vice style. It's more of like a, I guess somewhat like of a, yeah, if you were using one of those Cheyenne vice pieces, it's kind of similar to the FK Irons ones that you would get on one of their Spectra, Edge X or something like that. Even uh, Numa. Uh, not new, uh, lost my train of thought there. <laughs> the uh, injectors out there, they have that as well. So let me, uh, let's get into this uh, machine. So I did work with this machine. I've been working with this machine for some time. This is a standard needle on the bar. Um, of course, this is for review purposes only. These are needles from one of my sponsors, the Needle Parlor. They make these dope ass Sovereign needles. They also make Sovereign cartridges. These needles are pretty amazing. I've been using them. I'll get into another review for those that'll be coming in the future. Let me run this machine for you guys so you guys can hear how it runs. It's a very powerful machine. It has a 4.3 millimeter stroke. It can run down to voltage as low as three volts, which is crazy. You can do stippling with it and all types of stuff like that. But we'll start it off at eight volts. It's a little bit louder than a, I guess it's not really actually, I mean, sliders do sound like this. And this machine can definitely work with both standard needles and disposable tubes, stainless steel tubes, any kind of tubes you want to throw in this, or you can use it with uh, cartridge tubes. Let's bring the voltage down. This is at 6.5 volts here. It runs nice and strong. Uh, when I was tattooing with it, I, I Primarily used it at uh, four volts for soft shading and blends, and maybe at like 6.5 for lining. Uh, you can go up higher depending upon your needle grouping. But let me drop my power supply all the way down to three volts. And that's at three volts. And this thing is still kicking, which to me is pretty crazy. guys out there looking for a machine 
that can do some real serious stipple shading, this thing will push it. Like, this is at three volts, no lie. Look at that, three volts. So, let me see if I can tattoo something that has, let's tattoo the top of this metal lid. Actually, this one. I'm gonna get some fake skin soon and start showing you guys some techniques and stuff. But if we go up on here. That's crazy to me. This thing is has a lot, a lot of power. So yeah, this is the Mustang Element 2. It comes in different colors. And uh, actually, they are available at Painful Pleasures now, and you could order them from there. These do take uh, any type of cartridge grip you want to put on it. Although, they don't take Cheyenne grips. You need to use something uh, like a disposable cartridge grip, and I'll throw this in here and run it for you so you guys can see how it works with cartridges. It also pushes cartridges at three volts, which is crazy. We'll, uh, we'll throw a Cheyenne cartridge in here because these are supposed to have the stiffest membranes out there. And they kind of do. All right. And let's see if we can get this running at three volts. Yes, we can, look at that three volts on a cartridge that's pretty crazy of course not enough power to push the cartridge at three volts continuously let's see nope won't push a cartridge at three but let's go up to 3.5 and see what happens at 3.5 3.5 guys pushes a Cheyenne cartridge and if we want to pick the speed up throw it up to 8 runs real smooth there's a little bit of vibration but when you wrap your grip up if you do um, you probably won't feel that. There's a lot less vibration with this machine if you use it with standard needles as well. So I like also the fact that it has FK iron style armature bar adapter and it has this rolling wheel here. Very similar to a few other companies on the market that are making stuff like that. So yeah, it's an all around great machine. Uh, Machine's only about 200, I think it's 225 bucks, 240 bucks, something like that. You can't go wrong. This machine has a Russian made motor in it, and it's a very powerful motor. That's one thing I can tell you off the bat. And it's a great machine. If you're looking for a machine that has a really long stroke, Besides the Bishop Wand liner machine, which has a five millimeter stroke, which some people are going crazy over, which I really don't see a purpose for. Maybe it lines amazing, but I don't know because I've never tried it. I've tried the Packer, I've tried the Shader, and honestly, I wasn't impressed. I feel like uh, there could have been uh, other things done with those machines. But anyway, this review is about the Element 2, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.